I smoke my pipe. Have mercy, Mr. Brown. I hope you don't mind. Well, won't you please let me smoke my pipe? You see, I'm lighting it now. What are you going to do about it, sir? You, sir, are an absolute traveler. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, I'm a gentleman, rhymer named Mr. B. I like to smoke my pipe with a cup of tea. Lap sang Shushan and deviled kidneys. Now, why would anybody want to stop me? I'm a man of taste, a man of finesse, but I must get something off my chest. I'll abide by the laws of your watering hells, but I won't stand in the rain with a pack of bloody pearls puffing on the marbles or Mayfair lights. Or worse, those herbal trade fair types. If I was in the cloth with a broadsheet waiting for a pink gear up on my board feet, I would wash them from the window in their sportswear shoes. But now I've got to go out and be born there too. So, Prime Minister, sir, this just won't do. Just listen to my plea to you, please. Let me smoke my pipe. Check one, my pipe smells nice, check two, my pipe smells nice, check three. The smoke's all gone, but now the pub smell of weed. My pipe smells nice, check one, my pipe smells nice, check two, my pipe smells nice, check three. Won't you come and smoke a pipe with me? Come on, the smoke it. Everyone, welcome to a new episode of Radio Redux. And this one exclusive to Radio Sega. I'm your host, Archangel UK. Behind me on the bed, in a not quite luring position, but on the laptop, talking to people in the Radio Sega chat room, is my lovely wife, Echo Hawk. Say hello, Echo. Hello! You can probably hear her better this week as well. Slightly better. Slightly better. Awesome. Yeah, we're here live in the Radio Redux studio. Um, uh, <laughs> slow, slowly, uh, slowly dying of dehydration. Uh, I, I am. Yeah, you're, you're okay. I'll, 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 I'm slowly dying. South, man. I, I went from Michigan, which was butt cold, to 
it should be explained to anyone who lives in America. Um, any sort of indication where it, you know, is suddenly now not raining or sort of overcast. Uh, Any time we put the, the sun comes out of whatever cupboard it's hiding in, uh, everyone rushes to the beach is going, BURN ME! PLEASE! I NEED TO HAVE A TAN! Or something to let the wrong lines of that effect. Yeah. And then, of course, the next day we're complaining because it's like, ah, don't touch me! No! Nothing come near me, ever! And then our, our skin falls off like a snake. Gets in the drains and it clogs them up. You know, it's really bad. You wait Tuesday. Tuesday, there will just be piles of dead skin just clustering the streets of Britain. Are you a snake or something? No, are they snakes? Did you... I think you missed the first part of that. <laughs> I, I was even, I meant about the peeling oh, as the result no, of some yeah. But usually people just peel off like... Oh no, oh no. We're, we're British, we go the ho- it's over the whole way or not at all. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, we are celebrating the fact that the sun came out, and it's not even tomorrow. Um, sun will come out, because it is, and uh, as a result, everyone's been just slowly dying in the streets. Um, <laughs> as people in the chat will testify, as Sega Mark has already said, uh, yes, it's just... Nice. It's so nice. <laughs> yeah. So we so we just burn. We do have a fan, but we can't have it on owing to the fact that we're on a radio show. Well, I don't want to like. Mess it I know. It's no. We did the right thing. <laughs> just let, as a result, we're just. <laughs> Any time we have a music. Every time we have a music break. It's just going to be on, and we're just going to be crowded round it. I might, I might just take your laptop, hook it, and I'll just do the show from up the fridge. Our fridge isn't big enough. I will make space. If you had the fridge in our other place we've been looking at, you'd be fine. But that's not the case. Yeah, uh, that's something to talk about in a bit. Of course, we do have. The real colleague says we need Samba de Amigo music. We should also have. I'm thinking something from Outrun, but I don't know what. Mag- magical sound shower on the basis of it's a shower. We'd be, it'd be rather nice right now. Probably. Well, should be hot, hot heat or whatever it is from uh, or red hot heat. I don't know. What's the one from Sonic Adventure? Uh, I don't know. I don't remember. I haven't listened to Sonic Adventure in a long time. Uh. Red Hot Skull. Hmm. Anyway, uh, yeah. So we'll, we'll put Red Hot. Sk- no, we'll put Red Hot Skull on. Actually, that's not. <laughs> uh, Shimmer of Hot Hair. Shimmer of Hot Hair. <laughs> From Sonic and the Secret Rings, se- Seven Rings in Hand. Oh, everything on that. Oh, there's shoot. Now, I can't now, think now, of now, the now. one. There's there's a track from Ifrit, and I can't think of what it is. Well, we'll have a little look for that. We'll put that on as well. And the, and there's a level of corresponding with it. And I can't think of it. Yeah, I'll we'll have that. Afterwards, we'll have the chat room rundown, which will be solely for people who are in the Radio Sega chat. Because they're special. If you're listening in and want to know how you can join the Radio Sega chat room, it's very simple. Just do exactly the same as you would do when you're doing a Sega Sonic Radio, but instead put hash Radio Sega. Uh, it should be. It should be also, you know, mentioned that uh, Radio Sega does not endorse the use of uh, drugs, but um, but it's hash Radio Sega. It just is. Anyway. <laughs> uh oh, T Bird's comparing the two sites now. Comparing the two <laughs> sites. Yes. <laughs> what two sites? Well, yeah, just yeah. Dare dare I ask? Right now, Sega Mark's getting a bit of a, a an ego stroke, if I might say. Although I don't think he likes. Why? Because it sounds better. <laughs> no, we know Radio Sega sounds better. We know that. No, we were talking about the sites. The sites. What the Radio Sega the appearance sites? And the... Oh yeah, Radio yeah. Sega website is looking awesome. Well, considering that. Not as awesome as Sonic Rex. No wait, it is. <laughs> I'm sorry. I wish it was better. Anyway. You can't keep changing it. We've officially... No, we're sticking with that one we now. It's going to be that one for, for ages. 
Okay. At least four years. <laughs> I'm not touching anything else. Um, but yeah, on the show today, um, we're going to go through some of the big news, big updates that's been going on in the last week. I say some. It's just one thing, really, isn't it? Um, Do we get to announce anything today? Do we get to announce anything today? No. Okay. Um, Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Soon. Soonish. I'm waiting. I'm, I need a, a list of announcements that we're going to do because Sega oh, yeah. want it. Well, you're having the opposite. Now you're having to line things out for people who aren't supposed to know. <laughs> it's fun, isn't it? Yeah. It's just it's like, one of those. You can, you can have all of. Oh, wait. I can't tell you that. Exactly. <laughs> it's like watching a hamster having to make a decision between a piece What's of going to be there? It's um. Something. <laughs> something. You, you can't even specify what. It's that ambiguous. It's great. <laughs> You can have this, this, it this, might be this. It, it's the same every year, though. You can have this and this and this. Some of this, maybe this and that. But what are they? Um, Can't tell. <laughs> no. Sworn to secret. And we're not even sure you can have those. Exactly. <laughs> it's empty space. Anyway, uh, here's a shimmer of hot air. Afterwards, I say we'll chat room rundown, and then uh, later on in the show, oh. If you missed uh, Raid Rex last week, I fired Demix <laughs> as judge. Yeah. I got all Alan Sugar and fired Demix. And uh, as a result. Why did you go for the female? Oh, Alan um, Sugar, not Ann Sugar. What no, what, what are you. <laughs> Sometimes I don't hear you straight. Yeah, Alan Sugar. And oh, I, I fired yeah. Demix. And I installed in his place uh, Turbo off of Turbo Drive Live, the SSR and show. He has. And uh, he has delivered marks. He delivered marks like within a couple of days. So next year it's just like Turbo's just going to be all three judges. I think that's going to be <laughs> awesome. Uh, and I can I can tell you something. Um, what ju- what uh, John what Turbo likes he likes. What he doesn't like he, doesn't he does not like. <laughs> Which means so, hey, do you realize what that means? What? That the All Stars have got all their marks. No, the All Comers have all got all comers, their marks. Whatever. However, all stars however, coming out. Uh, but that's but so you you won't find out the winner today. No. Because you won't find out the All Comers winner today because the bonuses still have to be added on to the end. So you'll find out those. What's on your foot? What's on my foot? Yes, looks dirty. Um, that's probably fluff from sock. Awesome. A newish sock. Of a black nature. <laughs> yeah. No, I've, I've, a- I've actually been walking over red hot coals in my spare time. Cool. You might have wondered what that big sort of heat smouldering pile of ash in the centre of the carpet was, but well, that's what I've been doing. Oh, I thought it was my cooking. It's okay. Anyway, no, it's not your cooking. Here's, here's Shimmer of Hot Air. Uh, Lord Sugar, they're correct here. Lord Sugar. No. Uh, yeah, that's true. Play the fail. No, he's not playing the fail button. Play the failed button every time Demux is mentioned. No, he served us well for two... Was it three years? Three years. I doubt two it was years. three. I think it was two. Just the two. two. I'm gonna go anyway, he was our head judge. And he's not anymore. He's, he's fired. Just, yeah, he's done. Yeah. He's been put out to pasture. He's been taken behind the shed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Timmy. You can't. <laughs> I'm sorry, Timmy. You can't have Demix anymore. He's gone lame. He's as lame as a duck. In fact, we've had to take your duck away as well. Unfortunately, it's gone Demix. If Bentley doesn't give him his marks. We wouldn't fire. We're not going to fire Bentley, no. Because We're not going to fire Bentley. He's, no. a, he's the celebrity. He's a celebrity. Host, However, judge. we're going to be at the MCM Expo. Uh-oh. Saturday. You totally shouldn't have said that. Now they're all going to come and like attack you. Come and attack me? Yeah. What for? <laughs> because that's what fanboys the... do. They don't attack me at Summer of Sonic. What makes you gonna makes you think they're gonna pay money to go to the MCM Expo? To Only attack because me? I sat in the crow's nest with like a sniper rifle. If they were gonna do anything crazy to you. <laughs> oh, that's what it was. <laughs> I thought I thought you were just caressing a broom softly. <laughs> I'll leave it. <laughs> oh dear. Gone and lost my Okay, you're, so you're listening to Radio Redux. We're our uh, our, fun- 
On Radio Sega, where our funky grooves make you hot. Her. Oh, yes, they do. Hot. Her. <laughs>
and we're back. <laughs> we got some sort of hot, funky related uh, music going in the background. It was all going to be fire and heat related. Keep it on topic. And then we'll have thunderstruck explosive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then the inevitable thunderstorm. Yep. Be accompanied probably by the sound of breaking glass later. Oh, yeah. That was fun. Yeah, yeah we, had, we had loads of fun earlier. There was a uh, nice disturbance in the street outside uh, between what appeared to be some window cleaners and uh, some people of, uh, hmm, of a persuasion that can only be described as what are you fucking looking at? Uh, yeah, there was there was threats of shooting, and there was um, don't wave that machete at me. So good to know that you sell the community well. Yeah, it's nice here. Yeah. We've had no problems. We've had no problems, well, apart from the obvious. Yeah. Honestly, if they've not been infringing on us, so it's not like. It. Yeah. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Although, speaking of houses and that, we had a nice little trip out yesterday. Went to a location that shall for now remain nameless. Still somewhere in London. Still London-ish. <laughs> to look, to look, look at a house. Not a flat. Flat a house. Oh. And with you actually house. pronounce house like that. A hoose. A hoose. A hoose. It was. It what? It, it was. It was sort of He's got terraced. This has got some machete to get out of his way. <laughs> it works. It still works. Yeah, of, co- of course. Yeah, but who's? He's got a wrench! No! No, he hasn't. He's got a machete. No! He hasn't got a machete either. I... He's got a massive wrench! Get out of his way! Actually, is Vija listening in? I see no Vija. <gasps> he has a friend in the- Oh, well, Curse him! We Curse him and his Emerald Coast. He uses my forum as well. Emerald Coast and uh, Sonic Rex forum I'll is the go same. Call him up call Actually, well, technically, hang on. I'm going to load up Skype. I have Skype on, but I don't have uh, his. Yeah, I've got him. You've got is he listening him. in? We'll see. Where's Vija? Everybody's got Skype. E- ev- everyone's everyone's got Skype. <laughs> Nobody calls me anymore, though. Feel bad. No Vija. No Vija, no cry. I still love how he's Oh, always. Always, always goes. Yeah, he's not cooking either. <gasps> oh my god, he's dead. He's... he's died of malnutrition. No, he's died of that massive wrench. You knew it was he's gonna died of the massive wrench. You knew it was going to be a problem. <laughs> well, I see a T bird, I see a DC, who incidentally was um, responsible for that. Track you had right at the beginning of the show. Oh really? What? That, yeah. The um, that one, the Mr. B, the gentleman rhyme of. Let me on. smoke my pipe. He's always busy when I try to call him. He's like, no. I think he's quite, I think it's like chap, chap Rock or something, isn't it? Chap Rock. You might have another track of that next week. Uh, Ram Dragons on. Let's Chris is on. The sound test is on. You're busy. I'm I can never speak to you. You're busy. I'm busy right now because we're doing a show, you fool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, fool. Crazy fool. Crazy yeah. But there's no Vija. There's no, no Earth art either, actually. No, I saw him on. No, He's don't. not there. Vija is dead. I don't know. Vija. Oh my gosh, Blake, we're having technical difficulties with Oh dear. I guess now they can hear They're they're dropping like flies. Get them out of there. God's sake. What's the sad music? Sad music? Uh go with the sonic dying. That could be pretty sad. No, what's the um What's the dun 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 stay one. Somebody identify that track for me who is listening. Oh, 
your mother as well now, you're married. Um, Hi. Awesome, yeah, but say so we're the Sora Housey, house. which, if it became our housey, would also house a Blakey. Yes, very much. Quite possibly. Very likely. Yes, indeed. Hmm. So, yeah, uh, it's all been very good. Yeah. All been kind of crazy. Not as crazy as what was it Thursday night? Was it Thursday night? Uh, Thursday night was the Sonic Four announcement. Was it? Or was it Wednesday? It was. Oh. It was just. Yeah, it was Thursday night. It was Thursday night and the Friday morning. Yeah. We stayed up till all hours. And I ended up falling asleep on the floor until you woke me up by kicking me in the shit. I thought you were on the sofa. I had the lights off, so I didn't do it. And then I accidentally. Wow. <laughs> I I was looking for you. Oh jeez, sorry. And then, but I, like I, 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 I literally seen on the. I, I had no reason to believe that you were on the floor. No. Actually, it sounds weird, but I am small enough to be on that couch. But at the same time, it's small but not comfortable. Oh, it's the introduction that never turned back. That's very. That is very true. The the, the, the piano intro or to never turn back. Or if you want something back. sad. You could do what I have become, or whatever it is. Mm, I could do. I can't think of what that if that's it or not, but I'm pretty sure. That's it. Which is like a QQ emo ending of all emo endings of an emo game with an emo head tone. Quite possibly. Um. Oh yes, Shady wrote a whole article in Portuguese about it. Yeah, thanks for that. It helps because I can take that article and go look. Somebody in Portugal wrote about that. That's great. <laughs> well, we have a now, I, you know what? I was I was thinking of that, and then I was. What? What was it? What? There we go. Because um, we need. Put it down the back. Hang on. Because uh, obviously we've lost. We have lost. So many people have been lost. We don't know why. We don't know why. But now we'll run down a list of those people who we have lost. Is it times like this that we all need to step back and appreciate the presence of those who are no longer with us? Phil VJ Sims was a fantastic friend. He had a fantastic wrench. Oh God. It was rumoured to be massive, but he didn't like to boast about it. Well, logic... <laughs> statistics say I'll die before you, so it's yeah. not, you don't you have to worry about that. Yeah. We loved his laughter. Oh, get We loved his cooking. Oh, you're making them cry, you bastard. We loved his love of port. Oh. And his inability to sell anything on eBay for more than they actually bought it for. Oh, you love him. And it's for that very reason that Phil Sims will forever be remembered. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> 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 oh, Sega Mark's confused. No change there. But yeah, so Sonic 4 announcement with the Splash Hill trailer. The Splash Hill trailer with, you know, somebody playing Splash Hill. Playing it well. Got to see the uh, Act 3, which is the sort of sunset version. Oh, that Mm-hmm. The yeah, uh, the a hundred plus lives, yeah. Uh, <laughs> short story. Short story. Um, I got to see that trailer at about four o'clock. Four o'clock. Four o'clock. Four o'clock UK time on Thursday. I saw that trailer for the first time. 
And I just I clocked it immediately, and I just went to everyone. Yeah, yeah. Why does Sonic have like a hundred and nine, hundred and ten, hundred and twelve lives throughout this? And I, I, they sort of looked at me, and then just sort of went, "Oh, for God's sake!" <laughs> yeah, you weren't completely. You, you would have chosen differently. Was that? Well, I think it's just the fact that it. It was another one of those great oppor- opportunities when, you know, they should probably run something like that past me for some approval as well. But like, I clocked it and absolutely nobody else did. Which was quite funny. But yeah, it's, uh, you, yeah you, you, you don't start instantly with like 109 lives. Um, well, you just don't. It's it's why Missing No was created, it's why all these things happen. Mm. Why the cheats were invented so the developers who can't be asked to play more than five minutes of video footage can just like have mm. endless lives and awesome Pokemon and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So, mm. I, felt, I find it quite fun about how you know there's, there's obviously the physics that must be the same as the original Sonic. A lot of people say it must be the same as the original Sonic. Like, okay, we'll put the spike bug back in then. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's it's true. there you go. It's exactly the same. Okay. Yeah. But uh, yeah, uh, trailer for that went up. All sorts of fun with that. And then of course you had um, Ken uh, Balo, who was uh, took time off from Coronation Street to uh, go on, along with uh, Ruby Eclipse on there on to Game Spots today on the spot. You have no idea how much that thing annoyed me <laughs> because I was um, I, I was watching the show previous, the show the previous on the spot to sort of get an idea of what it was about, and it was like today on the spot, so and 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 so today on the spot. It's like today I want to strangle you. <laughs> I defy anyone to listen to that on loop repeated for five minutes and not feel like you want to just absolutely just murder someone. <laughs> uh, but yes, you found yes, you found out about stuff. You found about stuff with I don't know really. Uh, they yes, it's all gone gone back a bit. To uh, late 2010. Oh, that. get to be established. I know. I, 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 well, there's this thing about apparently the SOS. Fault, in my opinion. Okay. It's not my fault. It's not. No, it's, it's not, not yours. It's I like the people who like. I like people. Yeah. Oh, don't don't start pulling on that thread. The entire thing will <laughs> unravel. Come I, I, I like I like the people who blame who blame uh, Ruby Eclipse. Actually, I like the people who blame Aaron for that. It was like the. It's like the same as the Yakuza free cuts. Apparently, that was Aaron's fault. Um. How? Yes, because he made the decision blatantly. <laughs> but um, you know, we, we we do our thing and we fed back, and ultimately the stuff that people have been saying, you know, we kind of said as well. So that kind of helped. <laughs> yeah. It's like, hey, you know that stuff we said. You know what they're saying? Mm-hmm. Kind of the same. Um. But yes. Well, we got... Good luck, Blake. Yeah. Is Blake Blake Draco dead? I think he's among the uh, he's crossed Blake, over. Blake Blake Draco's not dead, is he? Yeah. Oh, for goodness' sake! Yeah. Blake Draco. <laughs> what? No, let's not do that. No, let's not. Let's, let's not. Don't. He'll be back in five minutes. Going, what the fuck is everyone crying? Yeah, everyone's crying. Blake is gone. How are we going to tell Sophia? It's all... <laughs> anyway, coming up, we're going to have another piece of music. I uh, don't know what. Quick, do something. I thought we were doing the magical star, star shower or something. You want magical star? Something shower. You want something for shower? Whatever it's called, magical sound shower. Sound shower. I know Jake would punch me in the head if he did. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure no, Rich, you know Richmond do such like thing like that. Nah. Richmond is a very nice fellow. 
<laughs> we need to have another beer with him at some point. Yes. Because that was awesome that time. Alright, um, here's the outrun to... No, we can't Fan that. Fangirl screams of sadness. <laughs> <laughs> Sad fangirl screams. Uh... A million fat... So somewhere out there, someone's going... I suddenly felt a million fangirls scream out as one, one and was suddenly silenced. <laughs> Here's Magical Sound Shower, and um, after that, it's time for the Rex Factor. Is it? Yes, it is. Really? Yes. Yeah, guys, if you want to request, you know, by all means, request it. Uh, screaming at us is probably isn't going to help you. Yeah. Or anything, shaking it's fun. Fist. It's fun and all, but you know. Please help.
What do you mean we're never going to talk again? Of course we are. He's dead, apparently. Oh, I'm, oh, yeah, apparently I'm dead. Go be dead, Mark, damn it. Go be dead? Oh, thanks. I'm not a very good dead person. <laughs> yeah, no. Now I'm going to fall over. Would you stop with this? What? Well, He's, I've been declared dead, apparently. No, I'm a little confused by it as well, okay. That's okay. Irvar's back. He's listening in. Or he's missed the part of the show, anyway. He knew. Seaside Chicken. I'll tell you what, we had, we'd had a request slash demand slash... Um, apparently I'm alive or a zombie or both. No, we've only got we've only had, ever had one zombie on the show, and that was Zombie Dave. <laughs> if you remember, we don't go to Ravenholm, which I think was what show one one one, eleventh show of season one. We had Zombie Dave on, and nobody ever bothered to find out what Zombie Dave said. No one ever. Seriously, it was like yeah, this zombie on there. It was like ah, you know, like who's he saying something that's actually backwards? Yes, he probably was. Uh, <laughs> no one bothered to find out what it was ever. Oh well. We're all listening to radios. It was all like that. It was all like that. That was how it was done. It was that and then backwards. I'm waggling my. There we go. They say we're death A U K and soon. No, that would be Sega. Um. Oh, I beat the punch on that one. That's good to know. Right. Anyway. Uh, the tracks you're listening to were uh, we had the Magical Sound Shower of course from Outrun and after that we had Chameleon from Let's Tap now I heard this on my iPod the other day oh the tapping oh well, yeah Let's Tap Let's Tap Future Tapping Game Let's yeah. Tap the Let's Tap Future Tapping Game oh yeah Let's Tap the Let's one Tap that was given Future to Tapping us. Game and we still haven't Let's Tap yet. Let's Tap Future <laughs> Tapping Game da 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 Da, 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 da. Yeah, it's there. We've got the box we downstairs have it. in the corner. It's just been sitting there. <laughs> let, 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 let's the tap. Who gave it to do, us do, might do, be a little do, bit disappointed. Do, do, do. What do you mean the person who gave it to us? You might do that. Who? Who gave it to us? I, I did. Uh, you gave it to us? Yes. I thought you got it from someone. Mm, yeah, me. I thought you got it from someone. I work at Sega, you recall. Oh, It was my game. Oh, uh, Blake Draco's alive then. Yay! Anyway, uh, yeah, yeah, Chameleon from that, which is a really, really awesome track, actually. Um, that, 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 the Let's Tap album as a whole. Awesome. It'd be interesting to see what the um, music for Ivy the Kiwi, uh, Propay's new game will be like. I'm interested to see that actually. And then they had the preview of it. Actually it was a pretty good show um, the game spot did because it was Sonic 4 episode 1 and Ivy the Kiwi. So if you've never watched an episode of TODAY ON THE SPOT um, you probably picked a good one to start. On the spot. Hi. Would you like to uh, go on the spot today? You know what I mean. Yeah. Yes, dear. Make me get the wood back. What? Nothing. Anyway, <laughs> coming up in just over, I don't know, a little bit, we it's have. Been an hour. Oh, Is it already been an hour? Yes. Good gracious me. And you haven't even done the rundown yet. I haven't even done the rundown yet. You're you completely. Have you are completely right, my love. I have not done it yet. Yeah. I have not done it yet. I am so naughty. Naughty boy. Oh. <laughs> she will give me the spankings. Let me put it this way. No, she won't. Rory and Sven would not be able to pull that one off. <laughs> and not be looked at funny for the rest of their mm. lives. Mm. I'm Sven Dreadnuck's Jocelyn. <laughs> By the way. No, actually, if you get in all seriousness, actually, if, if we're going to talk about Sven briefly, if you just the point, um, as we actually listen to Living Sedatives 
Lava Reef Symphony in the background. I just want to say that so Gabby can be pleased. Um, if you get a chance, read Sven's uh, The Spin on Sonic Stadium. Because whether or not you agree with the point or not, um, I just like to say I, I thought it was a really, really good piece of writing from a writing standpoint. Right now, he's posting pictures of the tent. Sven's posting pictures of the tent. Yes, on Facebook. Well, there you go, folks. You want to know why the Sonic Hour is not around anymore? It's because <laughs> Dreadnux has a tent. He's got a tent! He's got, he's got a he massive a tent! tent! Get out of his way! Oh, Especially if you're Jez and the Me, presumably. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a massive tent! <laughs> A massive tent, but uh, we do now have the Rex Factor stuff coming up, which means handing over to our tame SSR. Oh god! Our slightly tame SSR um, show judge. Um, some say stuff, and some say other stuff. But uh, but all we know is his name's Turbo. He's about to get all up in this business! He's about to get all up in your face! Uh-huh. We'll have a little break between um, the All Comers and All Stars marks so we can do a little rundown, okay? Uh, we'll have a piece of music in there as well. Uh, you I'll already you, know. Um, yes. On this occasion I do, yes. Um, <laughs> Maybe due to the fact that I really wanted to sort Figure. some stuff out. Uh, Talko wants a Zero Blue World from Sonic Adventure. Um, let's have that. And I, somebody also. There was Cool Edge as well, wasn't there? I was being pestered for Cool Edge Day. Who's starting to implement Skype in Facebook? They're starting to implement Skype in Facebook. Yes, they have the uh, status of whoever that person is. How nice. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. All social media will end up coming down together. There we go. Apparently Vija's out Vija's out hunting for ladies. Oh, it's is having Vija's out looking for ladies apparently. Yeah, you can find lots of ladies on this show. There's one here. Although technically she's not really available. Does it really matter? The Zero Blue World was the other one, wasn't it? Okay, so we'll have that. Um I'll tell you, we're actually going to have the Sonic Adventure Remix fan game version of that, which is Aero, GP, and Tweaker. We'll have that as well in there. Okay? Ooh, okay. So, um, so that'll be your sort of break, and then we'll come back and discuss everything, and then we'll go to the All Stars! Oh, yeah! But uh, first, let's so we're going to go straight into uh, Turbo now. Turbo. See you next Why, hello there. This is Turbo from the Sega Sonic Radio Show Turbo Drive Live. You may have remembered me from the Rex Factor 2008, where I came in joint third in the All-Stars category, alongside with fellow judge for this year's Rex Factor, Earthheart, and Rory Black and Darkspeeds. This year, however, I have been chosen to be a replacement judge for the Rex Factor 2009, and don't be complaining about this, because Kev has made this decision, based that he wants a result for this year's 2009 Rex Factor, and I'm gonna give it to him. So here are my results, for the Rex Factor 2009, all comers and all stars. Enjoy. Akos B. McLeod. Uh, this is a Spanish version, I believe it is a Spanish version of Seven Rings in Hand done by Crush 40. However, Crush 40's song is actually being played in the background, which kind of makes it a little daunting to, you know, uh, listen to. However, uh, I believe that the translation is actually quite faithful to the original lyrics, um, although it is kind of daunting that it sometimes just didn't fit right with the chords that was uh, being played in the song. Um, so At some points in, in the song, I kind of didn't get the feeling uh, of a, you know, that it was a Crush 40 song being sung by yourself, Arcos. Uh, Akos, uh, it's it's just uh, I just can feel it at times. But uh, you did try it a couple of uh, you know you did try it uh, in later uh, in later parts of the uh, songs, especially in the verses uh, or uh, in the choruses. Sorry, but uh, overall it, it you know it was okay, but it was just dragged down by having the original uh, instrument uh, in the original song in the background. So I'm going to be giving you uh, five for te uh, technical and uh, five for artistic impression. B.I. Lion. 
Okay, at first when I was hearing this song, I thought I was going to be listening to With Me. But after a, a while, I actually found out that it's a par- you know, it's kind of like a twisted version of With Me, talking about uh, Team Chaos going to the movies. And I was laughing my ass off. Um, this has got to be uh, a very entertaining entertaining song to uh, listen to and um, possibly an entertaining song to perform um, you try. Uh, you basically did the three characters Espio, Charmy and Vector although Vector I'm kind of uh, I was at first when I heard him uh, I thought he was Jet rather than Vector but uh, it eventually cleared out in the end but um, no overall I did actually like the performance you used the, uh, the instrumental very well you, t- uh, you made uh, you made a parody of it uh, of it very well, and uh, it, overall it was entertaining. And this is what the Rex Factor is: is about entertainment. So uh, definitely worth uh, this one's definitely a very good one. And I hope to uh, hear more from you um, in another Rex Factor, hopefully in Rex Factor 2010. So I'm gonna give you for technical, I'm gonna give you an eight, and for artistic impression, I'm also gonna give you an eight as well. Diogo. Okay, man. Uh, I'm going to say that... I'm going to describe your song as a rocky road. Uh, Be that... It was bumpy. Very bumpy. And really, I, I just couldn't enjoy it. Uh, because it was just so bumpy, really. Um, I will commend you that you did try to make the song, song your own, but you just poorly executed it. Um... So, really, you know, again, it's got to be very low marks for you, sadly. Uh, I'm going to give you, um, for technical, a, th- a three, and but uh, your artistic impression just has to be a two for me. So, there you go. Don't tell us the fox and the sky's the limit. Okay, guys. Here's something. If you want to do a duet, don't sing at the same time. Because it just isn't helpful as such. If you're singing at the same time throughout the entire song, it doesn't make it enjoyable. In my in my ears, anyway. Um, or to my ears. And also, after the first... After the singing of the first uh, of the course first time around you kind of lost your place so really you kind of lost it a little bit and then at the very end uh yeah you couldn't be bothered really you you just didn't have that that much heart you did have some effort into it but really it wasn't enough to keep me impressed uh i mean i had a good laugh at the end at how Ugh, you're at the end, but uh, other than that, nah, nothing else. So, really, um, I'm just gonna have to give you average, average marks uh, five for technical and five for artistic impression. In Igu Venato, and uh, I can definitely say that this one's a very short and sweet one uh, of a piano uh, instrumental version of Sonic Heroes. Um, it's only about two and a half minutes long, so uh, very short, very sweet, very f- straight to the point. Um, however, I'm kind of saddened that it's not the full version, and um, I'm kind of, you know, with the, with the emphasis that you were trying to do with the song, it was kind of half-hearted. Uh, you did try your best. You did, you did try to, um, you know, uh, put some... Uh, you know, put some feeling into it, but at times you could, you just couldn't get the pitch right, uh, pitch right with uh, some of the uh, moments and uh, moments in the song. But uh, other than that, but of course, being you know, you're probably not used to uh, big, powerful kind of like pitches, uh, you still may do. But it's definitely better than some of the other things. So I'm get, definitely going to be giving you uh, five for technical and five for artistic compression. Hagrid and Fang. Hey, it's this. Uh, hey, it's doesn't matter. The song that I used for Rex Factor 2008 in the All Stars category. I wonder how this one fares to my version. Oh dear God, I'm bored to hell. I'm sorry, man, but uh, really, your version just couldn't 
you know, it didn't have energy. That's all I'm going to say. It just, the energy that, you know, I saw was at the very, very end. Um, with the, it's like, no, 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 no. Uh, basically, I just couldn't feel any of that energy in the rest of the song, you know. Um, you just brought it down. And fair enough, you have a good, decent singing voice, but that doesn't justify your overall performance. Um, so really, all I can say is I can give you four for four for technical and four for artistic impression. Fair luck ma next time, man. Hedgy Lightning. Okay, um, Hedgy. Trying to put words with Green Hill Zone. It's quite difficult, and it shows. I mean, you're definitely not Brent or Floss, but um, you did try to put lyrics in there. But some of the time, you just put in lyrics, you just put in words, and you just kept on repeating some of the things, and it just didn't, you know, it just, it's just like you just made a half heart. You, you, I mean, you tried your best, but it just didn't sound like it. Um, and really, you know, your singing was half-hearted as well. Pretty much everything was half-hearted. Uh, and I even heard at one point in the song where you you said something going to collect the chaos, but you didn't finish it off. You didn't say chaos emeralds. You just said chaos. So, um, you know, that just kind of dragged it down a bit. So, sadly, I'll have to give you three for technical and three for artistic impression. Shadow Fox 04. Hey, it's one of my regular listeners. When he can listen to my show. But uh, other than that, how was his performance? Uh, well, uh, he used, uh, obviously, Diamonds in the Sky. Which is kind of a odd song to try to sing from, your, from a guy's perspective. But nevertheless, he tried to do it. Um, he did have put he did put some en energy and some effort into uh, you know uh, kind of like make it faithful to the original, but um, he kind of like ga you kind of gave up af at the end. You he just kind of like uh, can't be bothered, can't be bothered to finish this song. So I'm gonna have to bring bring you down a little bit, man. Uh, but overall, I did actually actually like. Um, your performance, it could have been better. It, it it really could have been better. But uh, overall, you did actually do all right, and uh, um, definitely a heck of a lot better than half the stuff that I've been listening to. So uh, uh, you should be proud, man. So uh, as for results, I will give you a five for technical, and a I'm gonna say five again for artistic impression. The DJ Dan Dyer. Oh dear. Uh, I'm sorry, Dan, but uh, having to hear uh, "Live and Learn" in the same kind of like beat as "Magical Sound Shower" is it's not my cup of tea, and neither is your singing. I'm sorry, man, but really, you sucked the energy right out of that song, with no enthusiasm to the song whatsoever. And I really couldn't feel that crush fortiness, you know. And really, you just brought it down. And I'm, I'm sorry, but I can't give you any. If I give you any more than five points on each category, I probably kill myself. So I'm gonna give you uh, two for technical and uh, three for artistic impression. SMX. Okay, I was wondering who was going to try uh, Night of the Wind for Rex Vector, and it's SMX. How's he fare? Well, meh. That's all I'm going to say. Meh. There's just a few things I could, uh, I just didn't like about the performance. The needless filler, uh, like uh, imitating the instruments, putting in di uh, sane lines from uh, Sonic and the Black Knight. That filler didn't need to be there. It's like, just let the song play if it, you're not singing. You don't need to fill something up with it. 
fill in the silence. As long as the song is loud enough so people can hear and actually listen to, then that's all they need. Um, also, a couple of things of changing things, like taking out the woes with Sonic and uh, Sonic is the Night of the Wind was quite needless. And also changing a few things here and there, including replacing the word rage with race, which I just couldn't understand. Uh, other than that, um, you know, your performance was okay. Um, it could have been a little better, but um, with those altercations and whatnot, it really just didn't float my boat. But it's not bad, bad. It's not as bad as half the other stuff I've heard. So uh, I'm going to give you uh, five for technical and four for artistic impression. Sonic Mark. Right. Ungravitify, the Crush 40 version. Wow. Um, I'm actually very impressed. Uh, you pretty much used this. Uh, I know what you did. I, I, at first, I actually thought that it was actually someone playing a guitar, you know, off that version, but I found out later on that uh, I know what you did, and uh, I'll just keep that little secret with you. But, um, no, I totally liked how you performed that. Um, I mean, at times, you again, you were kind of like a little enthusiastic, but uh, how you portrayed some of it was actually very, very impressive, and uh, definitely a very good rendition of the song. Uh, also, how you uh, did very other, various other kind of like uh, things, including the electronic voice, nice touch, and uh, overall, and of course, I liked the little joke at the end. So uh, yeah, definitely, definitely a good one. This one, so I'm definitely gonna give you uh, good marks. I'm gonna give you eight for technical and eight for artistic impression. Spinball Wizard. Dude, I salute you, man, because that is probably the best rendition, or the best a cappella rendition of Sonic Adventures, It Doesn't Matter. I mean, dude, that is just amazing, how you actually, the start of it was quite etchy, but as you progressed in the song, you got me singing, you got me singing along with you. You you made me have the song in the back of the the actual song uh, music in the back of my head, and I was singing along with you, and you were just perfect. You were absolutely perfect. Um, the only things I can drag you down for is the random filler between segment uh, where you just pretty much you know hummed or whatever the the music uh, to fill up the gap where there's no singing, and. I'm only deducting you a mark for that because really everything else was fine. Everything was perfect, you know. Uh, and I really enjoyed it. I and it it really got me, it really entertained me, and I really loved how you were pretty much on the ball with the song. So I, dudes, you have my highest gratitude for you know entertaining me. So that's why I'm gonna be giving you nine for technical and nine for artistic impression. You should be proud, man. You should be proud. Tall guy, ninety-one, dude. You're very good. Very good at uh, improvising with a song, and you definitely made that song your own with your own l lyrics there. Uh, very minimal lyrics, mind you, but still, it works. Um, your singing ability uh, or rapping ability, as such, uh, was near perfect like you uh, you only were off a little bit but uh, other than that you were pretty much in tune to the song very much and you were very good uh, you definitely made me move my feet that's for sure so um, I'm very impressed and this is probably one of the best original songs I've heard um, in the competition thus far so uh, congrats man you definitely, you definitely should be proud with your work. So, uh, with that, it's not a perfect uh, ten, but I'm definitely gonna give you very hard high marks, uh, being that of nine for technical and nine for artistic impression. Well done.
a bit. And we are back. We are indeed back. Alright. So we turn the fan off. Yeah. Stop the fans, please. Da. Not. <laughs> dot. Dot. Da. 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 Ah, ah, ah. And all that jazz. Welcome back. Uh, yes, so. The All Stars stuff is. Well, it's all coming, sorry. Stuff is done. Yes, indeed. And yeah, there is an awful lot of fail. Uh, <laughs> however, there was some very, um, very specific success stories there. Um, let me just uh, look up the list. Suck. Bad. You have a fan? Yeah. Yeah, if you get a waft it at me, can you unfurl it first no, so I get I'm, some benefit out of it? I'm not benefiting you. I will uh, not answer that <laughs> that leading comment. Otherwise, the following will happen. Oh, you suck. Yeah. You suck, and you know you suck. Uh, no. But that, that is pretty much um, the case for a couple of people uh, in this particular one. Dan Dyer's one got ripped apart by Turbo. Don't know what was going on there. Uh, but. Right, here are the here are the current scores. Well, current scores. It's current scores. I say current scores because the bonuses still have to be added. Remember, all comers don't get uh, the fourth judge's marks. Uh, they still are liable for bonuses uh, in relation to uh, what all manner of things. Um, and it's on the really, it's on the Rex Factor page if you want to go and check. But uh, we'll be announcing the final winner next week. But here are the scores as they stand. Uh, in last, seventeen points is Diego. Believe in my friends. Dan Dyer is but four points ahead on twenty-one with his version of Live and Learn. Heady Lightning's Green Hill Zone with lyrics is twenty-two points. SMX is. No, not really near last. My goodness, it's only taken about three competitions to get there, but he's he's moving up. If we oh, if we do this if we do this every year until like twenty nineteen, what are you doing? Bouncing. Stop bouncing. God knows what they're thinking in the back. <laughs> God knows they're thinking at home. Um, Mm-hmm. If we do about 2019, SMX will probably win. Um, Hagrid and Fangs, it doesn't matter, is on 28, as is Acos B. McLeod with uh, Seven Rings in Hand in Spanish. Anigo Vanado is on 29. Uh, two behind Cello Fox 04, his version of Diamonds in the Sky on 31, which is exactly the same as The Sky's the Limit and Donatella's the Fox with Escape from the City. There's a little, little bit of a gap on two on 35 points. Bi Lion with uh, with me, aka Team God. It goes to the movies. Spinball Wizard got a fantastic uh, nine and nine uh, from Turbo to move up into third place on 36. Sonic Mark's version of Ungravitify. Um, again, big marks. Big marks from Turbo, eight and an eight puts him on thirty-eight, two points clear of Sonic Mark, but in the lead currently by five, with forty-three points. It's Tall Guy ninety-one, and the Supersonic Beat High Flying Groove song. It yeah, doing awesome. Another nine and nine. In fact, the only it's odd because. It's a great recovery. Where bearing in mind uh, the last time, the last judge Reserve Hearts gave uh, Tall Guy four tech for technical and fourth artistic, one of the lowest scoring. Um, so it's eight. So, so far, Tall Guy's had eight for technical from T Bird and nine for artistic. Four and four and nine and nine. 
so uh, yeah close to the top uh, we're going to go on now to the all stars but first we're actually going to do the chat room rundown because we haven't really done that yet so we have the following people Zago Yoda the Mulletron Tibar the fresh off his return with tea time Despite the fact that it was recorded in 1980s Russia. Then you've got uh, Spin, Sonic Mark, SJSSF, um, Shadowfox04, Shadid uh, and Darkwind, Ryan Akage, who I got mixed up with uh, somebody else earlier, um, Retrix, Resident SD, Miss McCookies, Joe Forever, Iris, Hedgy Lightning, Einigo Venato, Echo Hawk. What? It's, it's you. It's you. It's a you, Echo Hawk. It's you, bang, bang. <laughs> <laughs> Burn it. Um, D'Artagnan, copper the best. Copper the best. Uh, Blue Blood 95 is on WoW. Good. Music to play WoW by. Do 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 um, then you got Blitz Chris by Afra AUK who's on Radio Sega not SSR Spondy Trigon and Sega Mark the big boss man hey big boss man um, in the uh, Sega Sonic Radio ch- chat room there is people presumably I wouldn't know because I'm not there because we're on Radio Sega only this week so I'm only paying attention to the Radio Sega chat and all the wonderful, talented, incredibly handsome and beautiful people that there are in there. <laughs> Apparently, according to Resident SDR, I should call Cobra the Best by his real name, which is Cobra the Beast. Cobra the Beast. And uh, oh, there's other people listening as well. Um, uh, says he wasn't a low score by his standard. That is true. It was a, it was in it was in line, but the point was that he had eights and then he had fours and then he's got nines again. So, <laughs> so it's still quite a good recovery, in that sense. Um, Just proves how far Earth Heart will go to crash. Them. Indeed, uh, somebody pointed out earlier somebody has not come over from Radio Sega uh, from uh, Sega Sonic Radio chat room uh, which incidentally if you want to go to the Radio Sega chat room it says it's hash Radio Sega as opposed to hash whatever Sega Sonic Radio no it's not called Sega Sonic Radio you fail whatever it is or Sonic Stadium it's not that so yeah but, but somebody pointed out that Chan for the first show ever the first live show ever Chanbot is not listening in you know where Chanbot is? Chanbot's with Vija oh you mean they're Chanbot being- and Vija sitting in a tree I-N-T-E-R-F-A-C-I-N-G oh yeah <laughs> you know it makes sense that's why that's why Turbo's not listening and Ivory's taking video. Oh stop. Honestly, it's just getting weird. Mm. We have thirty seven listeners now, but that's I had thirty nine at one point. I think the record's still forty two. So I think you've all disappointed him and he's gonna quit radio. I'm sad, forever. yeah. Yeah, he's done. That, you yeah. guys just couldn't cut the you couldn't cut the cheese. We're we're done here. Cut cutting cheese. I don't know. Le gasp. You couldn't make the the thing rise. I don't know. What is it? Flambe. No, no. What is your stupid cooking analogy? Fail. Vigebot. Vigebot. That would be the offspring. Vigebot. A robotic Vigebot. Vigebot. <laughs> Somewhere out there, right now. Well, he's an engineer. Don't think about it too hard. No, don't think about it. No, he, he, Vigebot is an engineer. You know, he has the tools. We know he's this. got a massive wrench. Get out of his way! See, he's, he, he, we know he has the tools. 
He has he has most everything in his toolbox. Oh ho, oh ho. Would you stop making weird comments about Vijay's toolbox, please? We all know Vijay. <laughs> D'Artagnan suggests that uh, we need some Vijay Chan bot fan fiction. T Bird says uh, that uh, T Bird thinking that Earthfall's not listening to this. Um, just because he's not in the chat room says the following Erdos just pissed his battleship the Honey Bunch is in for repairs and the installation of some nice frilly curtains God love the Honey Bunch I thought it was the HMS Heartless no, Chambot <laughs> Chambot has materialised all of a sudden <laughs> and Chambot spoken for the first time ever <laughs> Chambot spoke Chambot is known as Swearbot Swearbot is that like Chambot's evil twin oh, sister oh he's getting all up in this biatch <laughs> uh, it's all it's all gone now it's all going wrong it's all going wrong speaking of going wrong um, it's coming up for the all stars uh, these are the people who have Everybody won knows. these are the people who are known or have won before the all comers or the won the all stars before or, they're good basically is what we're trying to get get there here they're, they're, they're good they're very good um uh, it does include Vija, who's who who's not doing that well at the moment. In fact, um, his uh, let's see, where is it? His score after T Bird and Erfart is five. So he's a little bit, I think, just a tad behind the rest of the All Stars and the All Comers. Come to think of it. Um, but never mind. Um, uh, Erfart says that he's getting the ship cr- cleaned of the graffiti he put on it and uh, getting some extra guns added. Although I must admit, I, I read that initially as getting cleaned of the giraffe that he put on it. <laughs> I was going, okay, okay, what on earth was T-Bird doing put a, putting a giraffe on Erfart's ship? The honey bunch. The honey bunch. The honey bunch. This is opposed to uh, T T Bird's vest, fine vessel, the Honey Bunny. Honey Bunny. Incidentally, if you had a ship, what would you call it? Is that one of the questions? We haven't done any questions and answers. We on couldn't because right? we're too busy fulfilling everyone's emptiness with our mm. weird <laughs> contest. Uh, Resident S D gives twenty points to Vija. That still would not even put him anywhere near where he needs. You can has no cookie. It is all, it is all wrong. Ah, uh, X Factor. No, Rex Factor, where there are no winners, only one really sore loser. Whoops! Oh, I've accidentally. Did you fail? I didn't fail exactly. You just randomly booted me off. They say you're dead. I'm dead again, am I? There we go. You're not very good at this living thing, are you? <laughs> That's weird. That's come on. The icing top with the F off. Okay. Indeed. Chocolate chip. Hey, Sonic. Do you want to hear the all star results? Yes. Mm. Apparently, Seabird's ship is called the Lollipop. It's manned by scantily clad women. Emphasis, emphasis on manned. <laughs> The finest that um, Thailand can muster, I think, is, <laughs> is, uh, is T-Bird ship. But yes, here comes um, here come the girls. No, uh, here comes the uh, results. And we're starting on the Turbo's All-Stars results with Crystal... No, we're not going to start with Crystal Dreams, actually. We're going to start with Anime Girl. And uh, we'll end with... Vija, because that's the one you all want to know, of course. So, um, yeah, be back in a bit. Anime Girl. Wow. Now, this is the reason why I didn't participate in Rex Factor this year, because I would know, I know I would get trounced by people such as yourself, with very good talent in songwriting, uh, to corns us with uh, songs that don't have lyrics, uh, and also a great voice to boot as well. So, really, there's not much else I can say on this. I mean, 
I can't give you a per- I can't give you a perfect ten because there was a couple of times where it was just a little off. But other than that, I'm gonna give you very good marks for this entry. Um, I'm gonna give you a nine for technical and a nine for artistic impression. Viger. Wow. No, 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 no. What was it doing playing Vigas then? I told you not to play Vigas then. Stop. I'm not allowed to. I will tease you. There you go. It's actually a Crystal Dream you can hear. Crystal Dream. Now, this song is a very chilling song in my eyes. Uh, or in for my ears. But, um, there, there was one problem with it being that Crystal Dream you tried you know with the lower lower like pitch and tone and whatnot. You, I think you were trying too hard and you just could not hold that uh, you couldn't you couldn't perform well with a low tone or a low a low pitch um, and my you know to me I just you know I just couldn't you know I didn't enjoy that sadly so that just brings you down a few notches. Um, but overall, presentation, in terms of, you know, choosing the track and choosing the lyrics, is perfect. Uh, or near enough perfect. I mean, it it was very good. It was, uh, it was done very, very well. It's just, it's a shame that your performance, um, you know, didn't match to the greatness that you made uh, pretty much the, the lyrics and choosing the song so but uh, nevertheless uh, I'm still going to give you good marks uh, I'm going to give you 7 for technical and 9 for artistic impression Digi Valentine <laughs> dude you are awesome y- you are like well awesome you have got so much talent that you're pretty much oozing with awesome sauce. I mean, dude, that was just amazing. I mean, how you can uh, conjure up some, you know, something like that, of like something like a rap um, from an old 16-bit theme, and you know, make it both entertaining. Uh, you know, funny, funny in it, uh, funny in an entertaining way, and uh, entertaining in a musical way, as well. So, really, this is what I was thinking when I think of Rex Factor. So, yeah, definitely, this is the this is one of the best songs I've heard in this competition so far. So, I'm definitely giving you my full recommendation, my full marks. 10 for technical and 10 for artistic impression. Dude, you are God. Katie Fox. Okay, Katie, I'm not going to lie to you. You have a very good singing voice. Your voice is up, well up there with the other female combatants uh, in Rex Factor this year. However, it was dragged down by the fact that you were trying to be uh, original with the lyrics. Um, Especially in segments where there weren't any lyrics, and you put made lyrics up to put into those segments, and I really couldn't get into the feeling of it. Like uh, I know you were trying the whole Christmas thing and whatnot, but I just couldn't feel it. I just, I just feel like the, um, the, uh, the lyrics just didn't fit well with the song, um, so that just brought it down for me. Uh, it's not terrible at all. I mean, uh, you chose a very wonderful song uh, for, you know, the, uh, for the Rex Factor, but um, it was just dragged down a little bit by adding with the addition of the additional lyrics. I mean, you sang the original lyrics perfectly as well. I mean, no no question about that. So, but I'm going to be fair, and I'm going to give you good scores for this. I'm going to give you 7 for technical and 6 for artistic impression. Pigeons of Death. Well, um, first time this has happened, uh, a YouTube poop song being 
used for an entry for Rex Factor. However, it's not as good as the YouTube poop that it's based on. I'm sorry guys, but uh, personally myself, I don't see uh, you one person singing the words that are used in the YouTube poop uh, you know, any better than the original. Uh, I, I, I mean, fair enough, you have creativity and in making a guitar acoustic guitar beat and obviously other beats but other than that uh, your singing ability is just not fantastic so uh, I'm gonna keep this short and sweet and I'm gonna give you guys a 4 for uh, technical and a 7 for artistic impression Iris oh lord bless us on this day where you have sent to earth a heavenly angel who can sing and open the gates to heaven to paradise. I d uh, sorry. Um, what I meant to say was, oh my god, Iris. How the hell... What? How the hell did you do that? I mean, not only did you translate the song into a language, uh, which was very do uh, well done, but you sang it so beautifully. I mean, holy shit! No wonder. Again, this is uh, this is me talking before. What was the point of me entering Rex Factor if I had no chance of winning with people like that in the competition? I mean, dear God, that was amazing. I'm sorry, but I have to give a full re again. A full recommendation of this. This has got to be a tough one this year for who's going to win. Because, you know, this, my friends, is perf near enough perfection in, you know, in singing and preparation for this. A and, like, everything. So, people, I give Iris 10 for technical and 10 for artistic impression. By God, Iris, you deserve it. 100%. Ram the Dragon. Hey, I know you. You were the judge from Rex Factor last year that actually liked my rendition of uh, It Doesn't Matter. Well, let me tell you something, Ram. I actually like your rendition of Le Eggman as well. Um, being that you've changed, the, you upped the tempo of the song, making it twice as fast, but of course, also, uh, also, you know, um, you know, um, keeping up to speed with it, with your, you know, singing, and, uh, your singing's not that bad either, you know, uh, and really being able to keep up with that, and also, you know, just getting, going along, going with the flow, uh, I'm very impressed with, so, really, um, it's all high high marks with me. Uh, I'm gonna be giving you um, uh, eight for technical and nine for artistic impression. Well done, Viger. Wow. You know, I've heard all the entries from Rex Factor before, past and present, and. I've heard some bad ones in my times. I mean, I've listened to Dreads Dreads. I've listened to S Merry Christmas Shiro. But, damn. This has got to be the worst attempt of an entry for Rex Factor's All-Stars category ever. Viger, if I could give you anything more than zero. I would probably have to shoot myself in the face. Repeatedly. With a Gatling gun. Mounted on a tank. With incendiary rounds. So your marks. Tentacle zero. Artistic impression zero. You have lost the game.
So there we have it, folks. Those are all turbos, Marks. If, if it seems really bright out now, uh, whatever it is you are, it's the sheer, it's the glowing redness of Iris's face after that, <laughs> after that eulogy of love from Turbo. I think it was her singing voice. If you want that, Iris, by the way, I've got the MP3, I'll send it to you. Um, so you can listen to it just so you can listen to it over. Whenever you're feeling bad, whenever it's been a bad day, you can come home, stick Turbo's dulcet tones on, and just, <laughs> and just sit back and just bask in the adoration. Um, you know, it's... Uh, if, if you ever get to SOS... You know, just go up to him and just go, Hi, I'm Iris. And he'll probably just sort of fall down at your feet and start kissing it. Um, but yeah, that was big. Big marks for Iris there. And um, yeah. Let's uh, go through the scores. <laughs> Let's go through the scores as they stand after the third judge from the All Stars. At the bottom of the entire competition. 12 points adrift of the lowest place all comers <laughs> with 5 points Vija Vija's in danger of being the first person ever to get relegated out of the All Stars I think <laughs> oh man oh man um, yeah so we've got uh, here one five. 5 um, a full oh crikey 30 a full 36.3 points ahead of him is uh, Katie Fox with 41.3 and you can blame Earthart for all these point marks um, Crystal Dreams the Crystal Dreams separation uh, which I maintain is probably the best uh, best most creative in terms of creativity um, and orig well, certainly originality um song in the competition. Chris Dream Separation uh, is next up with 43.1. Pigeons of Death and their acoustic mix Robotnik's Tea Party is on 44.7 in fourth. Ram the Dragon sneaks sneaks I say sneaks into fourth place uh, with 45.8 Anime Girl, Spagonia Romance, 50.7 in third. And then it gets, it's it's still close. It's anybody's, it's anybody's in the All-Stars at the moment. But certainly between the two leaders, in second on 54. Getting his second perfect score from the from the uh, three uh, community judges. It's Diggy Valentine, the Mystic Cave Pirates featuring Wise Man the Wicked, the teasy mix of that. Then you have, mm, then you've got, um, still in first, by just 1.5 marks, you have Iris on 55.5, it's going down to the wire, folks. It could be anyone's. Now that's what I call timing. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh. Victory for me. Now, you right there? You sure? Yep. You've not died, have you? No. Are you sure you've not died? Yep. Any coincidence that I happen to be talking and moving? I'm gonna go with I'm still very much alive. See, yeah, you see, you're definitely okay. Yep. So I, I don't need to. I need to fire up that. My impaled foot. I don't need to fire up that again, do I? No. No. Yeah. Awesome sauce. I wouldn't want to know what you'd say about me if I died, thank mm. you. No draws this year, says Earthart, hence the point marks. 
Zombie echo. There will be no zombie echo. Oh uh, yes, yeah, so that's true. That's true. You're not going to get any point. You're not even going to get uh, any real draws. Well, we'll try to make sure that. Ak will listen to this over and over to marvel at his dramatic timing. Oh, it's never got zombie echo as well. No <laughs> zombie. If I <laughs> go, I'm so staying. It's dead. it's come down to Bentley Jones. Only Bentley Jones can save Vija. You know it makes sense. You know he would. A million points. Well, I'm not here. sure. I'm not sure. Well, so we're going to see him at the expo on Saturday. We're going to uh, Because we need, we need to have a catch up. Well, you need to have a catch up. Well, I, I need to, to have a catch up. actually meet him. I need to well, meet him properly. Well, yeah. I, he, he called me on the phone once or twice, I think. Yeah. Twice at most. Well, I've handed you over to him on once. So. Yeah, to which point I kind of fell over backwards. But Yeah. And you, That's my usual response to certain situations. But um, kind of is awesome. it? I I got a I got a direct message from him the other day uh -oh. saying that he's not he's not forgotten about the Rex Factor, so well, that's, that's that's better than our previous third judge. <laughs> so uh, probably not next week, but maybe the week after. Uh, remember, the fourth judge is just for the All Stars and uh, has the power to uh, I don't know. Um, let's, let's say he has the power to create worlds with with his with his mighty voice and hair and his little leather glove that he always wears. And I did take the mic out of him for. Uh, <laughs> so it's uh, yeah, it's it's good. Coming soon. Hey, this is Benley Jones, and you're listening to Radio Redux, the only place on the web for everything hedgehog related. Sorry, fangirl Sorry, screen. yeah. Look. Echo just had a had a crisis. Shut up. <laughs> there we go. But yes, uh, only yeah. It's it's quite possible that you know <laughs> it is quite possible that Vija could. All Vija has to do is just break the laws of mathematics to um, to uh, not come in last. It's between Katie Fox and Vija for who comes last. Who wins? Who loses? You don't decide because we have judges for that. Um, but whatever. It is five to nine. We have almost been going for two hours. Remember uh, Radio Sega folk. Why is there an Echo Hawk and an Echo Hawk in the uh, Radio Sega? Because I chat? messed up IRC and I've got you like fail. two open. Uh, I think for that to ask was that a fangirl squeal? It might. It was be. more of a squeal than a squeal. It could be something. Oh, I don't know how to. IRC is being. But as as I was saying, uh, you have fast feet's phone mix in exactly four minutes now. So um, for for once, we're not going to have any questions. No questions. No answers. No answers. No questions. The world no will be left in mystery. But that the means world give us will be more. left in mystery. That means we'll just get some. Yeah, that means it'll be bulked up a bit for next week, presumably. But, uh, but yeah, um, it's it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's, it's all cool. good. It's cool. Yeah, Iris is after a bad day. She'll listen to that. Yeah, it's, uh, it's all good. I'm tempted to play it again, actually, just for no, fun. No, um, no. But no. If but you want to play your song? Play yeah. play the leader song. Um, yeah, that's true, actually. We'll, put, we'll, we'll, Close we'll listen it out to with that. Because we're like, what? Actually, no. No? No. 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 Too many negatives. <laughs> you must stop being negative, Echo. I believe. You can yeah. fly. Because I've got something better than just Iris. What? Planned. Excuse What? I've got something better than Iris planned. Do you? Yes, I do. And that is uh, the duet from last year. Last year's Radio Redux. Uh, the, sorry, last year's Rex Factor, the 2008 version of the Rex Factor. And the duet between Iris... Uh, Iris? <laughs> Iris and Anime Girl. So that's the... Uh, it's Believe in Myself by Iris and Anime Girl to play us out. And... Um, yeah, enjoy. I've been Arch NGK. Oh, I've been Echo Hawk. Sorry, slow to the punch. 
I was distracted by everyone and everything and phone <laughs> mix and Blake and IRC. I apologize. One of these days. Shut up. One of these days. Shut up. Iris and Anime Girl with Believe in Myself. False Feet Spoon Mix is next on Radio Sega. Peace out, y'all. We're out there. Back to normal, back on Sega Sonic Radio as well. I'm gonna hit TF2 now, boys. See you.